Thank you. I'm proud that my administration is characterized as the most pro-union administration in American history. No, I really mean. And let me be clear, whether it's the auto workers or any other union worker, record corporation profits should mean record contracts for union workers. Partnership for workers' rights. Over the last few days, the nations of the world have talked about climate change, sustainable development, food security, economic resilience. But we know our progress on these challenges depends on our workers. They will drive our clean energy transition. They will keep the, keep the global supply chain, supply chain secure. They'll build the infrastructure we need to keep our economy strong. So we have to empower them as well. Overall, we have five key goals. First, protect workers' rights. That means ending forced labor, ending child labor, ending worker exploitation, which uh, far f is far too common around the world. The second goal is to promote a safe and decent work. That includes ensuring countries and companies are held accountable for the impacts on their, of their investments on workers' health, workers' wages, and workers' rights. And the third element of this is we will advance a worker-centered clean, worker clean energy transition. Folks, as I've told Labor from the very beginning, when I think of climate change, I think of jobs, jobs. Fourth, we're going to harness technology to benefit workers. That means ensuring the new technologies like artificial intelligence and advanced platforms work for working people. And finally, we'll tackle workplace discrimination. Supporting our workers is about making sure no one, no one is left behind. This announcement is also an invitation to every global leader and every labor organization to join us, to join us, and commit to a better future. The fact of the matter is that we have today more than 2 billion workers that are in the informal uh, sector, according to ILO. And we have uh, more or less 214 million human beings that even being employed, they live in, under uh, absolute poverty because they earn less than $1.90 per day. All human beings, men or women, black or white, they have the right to decent work. Thank you very much.